Phil, could you please explain like why you're coming back to this area? I understand that you have like very wide uh, experience of scuba diving like all over the world and you kept coming to this area. Right. Um, well, my first experience of coming to Triton Bay was on a liverboard about four years ago. And having said that, the liverboard started in Kaimana near here and then moved on into Sarong. So we only really had about three days diving in this actual region itself. Um, and I was captivated by how unusual and how, uh, how unusual the diving was, how diverse the diving was, and particularly the intense colours and variety of colours that you've got in the soft corals uh, and also the ferns and the lichens, etc. Uh, and I was really quite spellbound by it because I've not seen anything quite like it in other regions. So having only dived here for about three days, I decided to come back and really explore it again and have a look further. The vis is poor, it can go down to about five metres, but as you descend uh, and you get closer to the reef and closer to look at things, um, it doesn't really matter because what there is to see is absolutely fascinating. So the visibility is an obstacle to overcome and it's not hindered my enjoyment of diving here. Triton Bay Divers has been here since 2015 and we've been operating now for over eight years. Uh, we uh, are diving these reefs three, four times a day and always discovering new dive sites and new animals. Every day is always a surprise here. And the best thing about it is we're the only ones here. Just this resort, there's no other resorts here and we only have a very few liverboards come through for one or two days. People often ask me what is so special here about Triton Bay and the coral reefs here are spectacular. We have prolific soft corals um, coming very, very shallow. Here we also find the black coral bushes super shallow in about three meters of water covered with glass fish, snapper, sweet lips. Very, very spectacular. Also very unique to Triton Bay is the whale shark population here. We have at least 80 known whale sharks to be coming through the area and many of them are resident. We often go every week to check them and if we can find some that have not yet been identified, we work closely with Conservation Indonesia and we can get our guests to name those whale sharks.
In addition to this, we have some endemic species only found here in Triton Bay. There's the epaulette walking shark and also the um, endemic species of Nosalum flasheras, both of which can be found here on our house reef. Most people go to Raja Ampad, it's mainly wide angle and fish and coral, very beautiful. Here is beautiful for that, but we also have some incredible macro life here. We have everything from every species of pygmy seahorse, depending on what colour you would like, including harlequin shrimp, tiger shrimp, we have some flamboyant cuttlefish. We also found the mimic octopus this year, we knew we had the wonderpus. So we're always discovering new life, new um, animals in this area. You can never get bored diving here.
Hello, so um, I'm Andy, coming from Austria. I uh, stay here for 10 days in Triton Bay Divers. Really nice dive sites here around. They have uh, 40 si dive sites on the map. Uh, you can reach them all by boat, maybe between 5 and 25 minutes. Sites are very different. Where you have uh, some walls here, you have uh, some mark diving on some areas here. Compared to Raja Ampat, there are few sharks, maybe no sharks. We didn't see them so far, but they have uh, wobble gongs. From the other stuff, it's pretty similar to Raja Ampat. Hi, I'm Kat. Um, I've been here at Triton Bay for a week now. It's my last day. And I've actually really enjoyed my time here so far. Um, there's a really wide variety of things to photograph, uh, both wide angle and macro. So it's been really nice to get to uh, see so many different kinds of critters. The reefs are really pretty. Um, there's definitely a lot of opportunity for wide angle photography. The visibility is not you know, super clear, but I think for photography purposes, if you are shooting close focus wide angle and you get really close to the corals, there's still a good opportunity to get really colorful shots. Um, so I've enjoyed my time here a lot and I would definitely consider coming back. <laughs>